Hello everyone, uh, today I will show you how to use the clone tool and the magic erase in Zara to correct photos. So I have a photo here that I'm going to import into Zara. I'm going to make a new document here just to um, show you exactly how it looks. So I'm just going to make a blank page and I'm going to just drag this image into Zara. I'm going to import it at original size and I'm just going to zoom in. It doesn't really matter. So the image is selected now. And what I want to do is remove these people from this picture, fix those cars, maybe remove these other people. So let's see how we can do that. So with the photo selected, let me just zoom in real quick here. With the photo selected, I'm going to the photo tool here and select the clone slash magic erase tool. And my cursor has changed into a pencil. So what I have to do is just select the area around the uh, area of the picture that I want to remove. So I'm just going to click and loosely select around here. It doesn't really matter. This is not exactly Photoshop level editing, but it's still useful if you need to do quick corrections to your photos. So now I finish my selection around the object I want to remove. And the first way to fix it is to just click and drag this area outside of the picture. Now make sure your feather is set to zero here and the smoothing, make sure you, it, that's adjusted because otherwise you're gonna see a bit of a smoothing going on. So you just pull the area uh, um, outside of the uh, selection until you're happy. So you can see now areas that it's copied from the left side of my picture made it into the selection area and it's seamless now and you cannot see those people anymore. Now another way to uh, do is to go let's go on the right side here and I want to remove these cars and uh, let me just zoom in a little more so I can select again select around these objects that I want to remove here and uh, instead of just pulling to the side to bring in an area of the picture, I can click Magic Erase. That's going to take a, a second or two, and it has replaced with a sort of content-aware uh, filling tool here, like in Photoshop, where it's just looking at the content around your selection and replacing it in the selection area. Let's try this again with another area. Maybe let's just see. Okay, we have a pylon here. I want to remove this one. Again, click on the image, do your selection, just select the object you want to remove. Uh, okay, click Magic Erase. And in a second, it's, it's just going to replace that object. Let's try again something else. Maybe uh, maybe this area here. This is a an area where we've walked into the field. So let's see if we can address this one. Click on the picture, loosely select around it, and again let's try and pull the content from the left. Now you need to make sure that you're not uh, you're not creating sort of a repeatable pattern there. So first of all, I'm just going to remove my feathering. Okay. So just try and not be too repetitive because if you zoom out, you're going to notice that it's actually repeating. So just make sure you don't um, you don't copy a, a, a section from exactly nearby. Maybe you can bring one from the left or, or more. So there you go. This is how you remove. And now you can you can export this image or you can save it. You know, and if you remove your selection, you can hardly see where those objects were in the image that I've just removed. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, it's not really Photoshop, but you know, it's doable when you have nothing else available. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this tutorial. See you next time.